welcome back to my channel make easy today in this video third video of file handling we are discussing about the one program in this program we need to use append mode in the previous two videos I explain you about the output mode output mode is used to create the new file and store the data into that file and if file is already exist in the computer then it will delete the old data from the file and store the new data but using the append mode we can add few more records more data into the file and the old data will be remain there so we are going to use append mode in this program now how to identify which mode we have to use it output mode or append mode let's see the program Ram To write the comment in the program just I have written program name okay a sequential data file info.dat contains records of few employees this means this info.d8 is already exist in the computer and it contains few records of the employees now write a program to store or you can say here is add few more records with the fields as registration number employee name and salary so we want to add more records into this existing file so we need to use append mode this file contain some records already so now we need to add some records into the file then we need to use append mode because append mode will not gonna delete the old data it will just add few more records into the file how it look like let me show you first of all you can open notepad let's say this is info.dat file this contain registration number let me take value registration number 12 and employee name abc then comma salary let's say this is the salary of employee and second employee with the name xyz remember always use this double quotation when we are storing a string like name address like that now salary this much let me save this file where I need to save this file inside this C drive and where your cube QBasic is installed QB64 here you can store this file now file name is info.dat info.dat okay this file is saved let me show you the folder where it is saved as you can see inside this C drive QB64 here it is saved info.dat you can right click and open with notepad to see the data look this data is already exist here now we are going to add more records into this file info.dat so how we can do that cls open file name is info.dat for append append as as one we are opening this file in append mode to add more records into the file because file is already exist and have some data now in this case if file is not exist then append mode will also create a file and add the data but if file is exist then it will not gonna delete old data it will just add new data into the file so what are those data we want it is mentioned here few records few records means we don't know how many records we want to store so we'll use do loop do I loop in the previous video of output mode I have explained how this works let me use this okay what we want registration number enter registration number I'll store that registration number in R then after that we need name enter name I'll store this name in n dollar because this is string and last we need is salary enter salary s has because salary can be of more than seven digits so if you want to store the number which contains seven or se more than seven digits use has after the variable name this is double type variable it can store one digit two digit or seven digit or more than seven digit as well okay now after taking input we want to store this file 
store this data into the file which file info.dat so write as one comma what are those data r for registration number and dollar for name because it is used here and as has for salary write statement will store the data into the file which file has one file has one represent this info.dat in this file we are storing data after storing we want to ask user do you want to add more records or store more records do you want to store more records we'll give option as y or n for yes or no and i will store that in c dollar because this is string yes or no now user will press y or n so we want to use loop while loop while u case dollar bracket c dollar whatever user will press whether it is y or n we are converting that into the uppercase in capital letter and we are checking whether it is y or not if this is y this is yes it will go to the do and it will ask user for another in registration number name and salary and then it will store that data into the file and it will again ask do you want to continue if user will enter no that means n then it will come in the next line and i will close the file and then end of the program end this is how it is done so now let me run the program creating exe file this this will create an exe file that means software for our windows operating system so after running this program we can just use this same exe file in another computer also so we can send this file and it will work there also okay enter registration number i will enter 15 name <clears throat> any name you can enter salary okay do you want to continue i'll press yes y then again registration number this name and then salary do you want to continue again i'll say no i don't want to continue just enter now this program is done let me go to the qb64 folder and open this file info.dat now look at this we have these two records earlier and then now two more records are added in this file this is what this is how it works append mode to add data into the file more records into the file if i run the program again it will add few more records in that same file let me run this and enter the value i will enter cbz now salary do you want to continue no done let me go to that file again and let me show you look this new record is added in this file so in this way append mode works let me delete this file dot info dot dat for now this is not exist now and if i try to run this program again so this append mode will create a file if file is not exist i will show you this screen as well as that screen simultaneously so you can see this info dot dat is not here now it is here because I have run the program. Let me close this again. Mm, okay, let me close and then I'll delete this again. Look, now I'll go here and make this small in size. Okay. Now we can see both the screen. Info.dat is not here now. When I go to this run option and press start, as you can see, info.dat will be created. Look at this now info.dat is here just it is now created after running because append one will create a file if file is not exist so i will enter registration number 74 i'll enter value abc and salary 14000 do you want to continue no i don't want to continue now close now if i open this file the only one record is here using the append mode if file is not exist it will create a new file and store the data so this is how append mode works thank you for watching if you understand this concept please click the like button click the subscribe button and share with your friends have a great day and see you in the next video i will explain you input mode file handling program